recovery of Lord Sullen's xylophone certainly sounds like a charming ruckus. Don't get me wrong, but I'm looking for a quest to be remembered by. One final adventure for future generations to share. Surely, my dear friend, you can relate to that. Oh, hello, Gwendolyn. Come on in. Um, where did your friend go? Why, he's right behind you, keeping warm by the fire. There's no one there. Not to worry. He'll be back. Always bouncing in and out, that one. Like a slingshot. Grandpa, we need to talk. Of course, sweetheart. What'll it be? Dragons, treasure, love stories. We need to talk about this. I see. Come here. I am so sorry. I should have told you when I had the chance. I'm just not ready for you to go. Listen to me. I am not leaving you. Not yet. The mirror promised me one final adventure. The doctors, they said... Has the magic mirror led us astray before? I'll be here for one more adventure, no matter what any doctor says. So, where's this adventure taking place? I haven't decided yet, but it's going to be grand. One for the tapestries of time. I was thinking... Serenia, or a family trip back to Avalon. Grandpa, you can't even get out of bed. Oh, I can get out of bed all right, just saving up my strength. I need to know why. Why? I thought it would be nice to have an adventure outside these walls with the whole family. No, not that. I need to know why the doctors can't fix you. There has to be a magical fruit that can cure you, or a spell to extend your life. I just can't believe that you're only suffering from old age. Take a seat. There are a few more stories I have yet to share. For as long as I can remember, adventure always had a way of finding me. But as I grew older, I had to find adventure for myself. Sweetheart, are you sure you need to go out questing for trouble at our ripe old age? Darling, this old hat may be tattered, but it's not ready to be hung up yet. I know. I know, as long as you're living, you'll be working to make Daventry perfect. But what's the point of working so hard if we never can enjoy it? We still haven't watched a single sunset from the Rose Garden. But there's still so much to do, love. I need to stay sharp. I just don't want my legacy to fizzle out like King Edward's. Do what you like. I know I won't be able to convince you otherwise. I probably should have stayed back and watched that sunset, but I had adventure on my mind. Perhaps there was another lost treasure to recover, or a unicorn to be rescued. Oh, if I was lucky, a hideous beast would be terrorizing the kingdom. You deserve a chance to celebrate your accomplishments. What else are you looking for, Graham? You've given enough, love. Please don't leave. I've said my piece and have nothing more to add. I still had dreams and goals. Old age is no excuse for complacency. 
I still had dreams and goals. Old age is no excuse for complacency. Seems like only yesterday you taught my arrow to fly. The town was always a good place to start an adventure. Perhaps I should start there. Wait, aren't you forgetting? Huh? What was that? Oh, never mind. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Amaya and I cleared out all the spiniferous thorn weeds in the backwoods and planted a lovely rose garden instead. Wait, what happened to the snarling snarlaxes? With purple eyes, blue glowing pupils, six legs, three claws, and one tooth. <laughs> They had to be crumbled, ruin the castle's curb appeal, I'm afraid. He needs to work on his time management skills. I wish Ophie would stay put. This meeting is already way over schedule. He'd better come soon. He is a weak link. Where does he keep disappearing to? Bell brought me right back to my younger days as a squire. Hold on, Grandpa. Yes, sweetheart. It wasn't a bell. Oh, and what was it? A horn. Remember? Oh, that's right. Forget my momentary lapse of memory. Patch of fire impeded my path forward. A mere brain teaser to get my logic wheels spinning. He probably knows we don't have the croissant. As long as he knows the password, you have to let him in. I'm getting tired of opening that door for him. After Alexander returned, we sealed up the goblin holes. I'm sure he'll be back any second. And now, now, Pilar, I don't know if I'd say it like that. 
I'm starting to question his commitment to our guild. I wish Ophi would stay put this m years ago, if my memory serves me correctly. We redesigned that old meeting space into a Memorial honoring Pilar and Mr. Watts. Pilar transferred to Ludor in the summer of 1679, and she was annoyed to find out there was, in fact, no bridge troll guild in existence there. Hungry and poor, she discovered a new cause to rally behind. She founded the first charity whose mission was to feed the trolls. Waddles retired when I took the throne. He stayed local, though, and created most of the art and tapestries that you see on the castle walls. He finally became the drawbridge that he always dreamed of. those steps being a lot lower. I used to just whisk up and down them. And that's why you should never smoke.
Am I remembering this right? We redesigned the space into a... a sandbox that all the children of Daventry could enjoy. Hey, how come I never got to play in that sandbox? Your father was always paranoid about badgers doing their business in there and would never let me take you. Ah, a randomly placed item to add to my inventory. My adventure was already off to a great start. We redesigned the space into a commemorative fountain honoring every guard who ever served the kingdom of Daventry. The fountain was meant for every guard who served Daventry. But I couldn't help shedding a tear for Larry every time I passed by. Ah, oh, life-giving water, nectar of the gods. journey continued. Ah, oh, that's better. Thanks, King Goosey. You're very welcome, friend. Wait, what's going on? Where's Olfie? 
What do you mean, sweetheart? He's right there. Ulfi, a magical talking bridge. Um, what? Oh, hold on a second. You may be right. Ulfi was uh, a bridge with a troll on his back, right? Oh, sorry. I mean a troll with a bridge on his back. Correct. How did your back catch on fire? Oh, I'm not sure. Ulfi was taking a nap and then became very itchy. Probably just another heat rash. A cool bath with two cups of oatmeal should clear that up. It's worked wonders for me. Yeah? Your skin does look fantastic for 86. Well, that's a shame. I'm 77. Oh, my apologies, King. <clears throat> At 386, Ophi's memory isn't what it used to be. I know. You told me that yesterday. Oh, I did, didn't I? <laughs> Can you believe how old we've grown? It seems like only yesterday we were dancing the dance of the official bridge troll guild. <laughs> and all the paths through Daventry were wide open. I just hope I chose a right direction, because my journey has become a bit of a straight line lately. Oh, I hope that's not why you squeezed into your adventuring gear. It's been Ulfi's pleasure to watch your little bridge take root and blossom into King Graham the Brave, and I wouldn't have it any other way. Well, if you enjoyed my earlier accomplishments... Wait until you see the greatness my next adventure will bring. I couldn't wait to get into town. The square was probably full of people in need of an adventurer. Someone to fetch treasures or forage rare ingredients. On that day, I would have taken any quests offered. One slight problem. I couldn't remember which way the town was. <clears throat> which way was the town again? My muscle memory was having a hard time remembering. What is this place? I'm not sure. I don't think I went this way until later. I better turn back. Is this how I would be remembered? I had to enter those flames before my legacy was burned to the ground. I couldn't leave until all my treasures were pulled from the fire.
even in my old age, I was still pretty smoking. saved one treasure, but it wasn't good enough. I pushed myself to grab another one. Treasures saved. They were charred, but not beyond repair. I probably should have stopped there, but there was no turning back now. Grandpa, what were you thinking? Shh, shh, shh. I need to concentrate. Really worth it? I'm sorry, I, I, have my stories been good enough? What do you mean? Your stories have been amazing. I'm just not sure. There's so much more I could have told you. There are so many other details that I forgot to mention. Grandpa, your stories are perfect. Just the way they are. I just needed more time. Give me a few moments. I need to fill you in on some other details. Grandpa, I'd like to remember the stories how they were first told to me. They'll be better with all this stuff I forgot. Trust me. Please don't ruin my memories. This is Tree Dorman, Am Amaya's partner. Grandpa, Amaya doesn't need a partner. She's a strong woman by herself. Besides, he kind of seems underdeveloped. You may be right. those fairies i couldn't figure out where they fit in the story perhaps the story was better without them
I tell you, the goblins rode around on rats in the caves? No, but how does that make any sense?
Well, hogs are baked with magic. They're abstract works of art. But hogs don't need equipment because they come right from the heart. Hogs you'll find are easy if you learn my recipe. First, I'll grab you high and you'll grab low. Don't twist me up like pretzel dough. Next, we squeeze our bellies. Huddle, don't make this weird. It's just a cuddle. Waft my musk and count to three or mayhaps to infinity. Don't mind my sweat. I'm just obese. Rub my back and then release. The purest form of love and greetings. One cup friendship. Ten part feelings. Platonic or romantic. Could be comic or dramatic. Sympathetic. Maybe tantric. Every hug is sourced organic. There a handshake. From the heart, 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 hogs, 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 heart and hogs, hogs and heart, heart and hogs, hogs and hogs. Give me a hog. Hogs are baked with magic, they're abstract works of art. But hogs don't need equipment, cause they come right from the heart. Hogs you'll find are easy if you learn my recipe. First, I'll grab you high and you'll grab low. Don't twist me up like pretzel dough. Next, we squeeze our bellies. Huddle, don't make this weird. It's just a cuddle. Waft my musk and count to three or mayhaps to infinity. Don't mind my sweat. I'm just obese. Rub my back and then release. The purest form of love and greetings. One cup friendship. Ten part feelings. Platonic or romantic. Could be comic or dramatic. Sympathetic. Maybe tantric. Well, hogs are baked with magic. They're abstract works of art. But hogs don't need equipment, cause they come right from the heart. Hogs you'll find are easy if you learn my recipe. First, I'll grab you high and you'll grab low. Don't twist me up like pretzel dough. Next, we squeeze our bellies. Huddle, don't make this weird. It's just a cuddle. Waft my musk and count to three or mayhaps to infinity. Don't mind my sweat. I'm just obese. Rub my back and then release. The purest form of love and greetings. One cup friendship. Ten part feelings. Platonic or romantic. Could be comic or dramatic. Sympathetic. Maybe tantric. Every hug is sourced organic. There a handshake. From the heart, 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 hogs, 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 heart and hogs, hogs and heart, heart and hogs, hogs and hogs. Give me a hog.
Well, hogs are baked with magic. They're abstract works of art. But hogs don't need equipment because they come right from the heart. Hogs you'll find are easy if you learn my recipe. First, I'll grab you high and you'll grab low. Don't twist me up like pretzel dough. Next, we squeeze our bellies. Huddle, don't make this weird. It's just a cuddle. Waft my musk and count to three or mayhaps to infinity. Don't mind my sweat. I'm just obese. Rub my back and then release the purest form of love and greetings. One cup friendship and part feelings. Platonic or romantic. Could be comic or dramatic. Sympathetic, maybe tantric. Every hug is sourced organic. They're a handshake from the heart, 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 hogs, 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 heart and hogs, hogs and heart, heart and hogs, hogs and hogs. Give me a hug. Hogs are baked with magic, they're abstract works of art. But hogs don't need equipment, cause they come right from the heart. Hogs you'll find are easy if you learn my recipe. First, I'll grab you high and you'll grab low. Don't twist me up like pretzel dough. Next, we squeeze our bellies. Huddle, don't make this weird. It's just a cuddle. Waft my musk and count to three or mayhaps to infinity. Don't mind my sweat. I'm just obese. Rub my back and then release the purest form of love and greetings. One cup friendship and part feelings. Platonic or romantic. Could be comic or dramatic. Sympathetic, maybe tantric. Every hug is sourced organic. They're a handshake. From the heart, 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 hogs, 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 heart and hogs, hogs and heart, heart and hogs, hogs and hogs. Give me a hog. This is Tree Dorman, Am Amaya's partner. Grandpa, Amaya doesn't need a partner. She's a strong woman by herself. Besides, he kind of seems underdeveloped. You may be right. What are those? Fairies. I couldn't figure out where they fit in the story. Perhaps the story was better without them. Did I tell you that the goblins rode around on rats in the caves? No, but how does that make any sense? Whisper song. 
How could I have forgotten Whisper's song? He sang it to Amaya when Alexander first met them. I think a song would have made that chapter a little too long. In the past, Whisper may have raved about how Whisper was brave. But my boldest feat on land or sea is loving you more than I love me. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. Hey, love can boast, right? Whoever wrote that has some learning to do. Now, bask in the words I'm about to sing at you. Life was once full of danger and enemies. Whisper was brave. Vanquished all foes, I mean ran away speedily. And you tempered my armor and then my heart right from the start. You mended all my shiny parts. You're bold, daring, endowed with a muscular lower jaw. Oh, wait. Hold on. Is that a description of you or moi? And side by side, together you and I watch as Whisper can soar, Whisper can roar, after I'm all done with my chores. Whisper now cooks, Whisper now cleans, does any fetch quest for his queen. But my boldest feat on land or sea is loving you more than I love. And you know that I love me. I love me. Oh, there was another puzzle in the ice labyrinth. I feared it was too hard to understand, but perhaps I was wrong. I had to find a way to get everyone on the switches.
there was this whole other hidden Wetzel wolf cave. Did I ever tell you about the time I raced on top of the bridge, trolls? What about my sorcery battle with the Grandpa. wicked ones? Stop! Your stories were perfect. Didn't you tell me that no story is ever done? It just stops being rewritten? Uh, uh, I will go back and fix them. We were planted in Daventry at the same time, but just like my legacy, this tree would outgrow me. It seemed like when I was younger, every door was open to me. But as I grew, one by one, they began to close. Locked as well, really only leaves me with one choice. The feuds from the Cromwell too were still stuck to the wall and it appeared the shop had not been sold yet. There were many crumblers over the years, but the first one was my favorite. I ran back home to make sure everyone was safe. Hasn't your game grown tired and old? Oh, I'm quite finished expending my efforts to refine this cesspit. I sacrificed my best years to the pursuit of a better daffetry. Now there's nothing left for me to do except watch as it burns to the ground and to hope that it will all be forgotten. It was never about a better daffetry, and you know it. I just want to prove you're better than me. Better than you? 
What have you ever contributed to this kingdom? If I didn't rig the night tournament, you wouldn't even be standing here. No, you owe your entire legacy to all the Cretans that sacrificed their lives to build it. Well then, leave my family out of this. Come out of hiding and face me alone. I'll grant you the rematch you so desperately seek. Graham, your bones are too weak for a duel of strength, and your ankles would fracture in any contest of speed. Would your rusty memory even provide any decent competition in a game of wits? What's the matter, Manny? Are you afraid if I win you will run out of excuses for why you were never crowned king? All right. First, prove to me that you're still strong and quick. You know where to find me. All right, mine. Don't fail me now. That's right. I had tried my hand at designing an escape room. One key was definitely locked in here. If only I could remember the combination. These things are always more fun in groups. favorite abstract art hmm I can't quite recall what the picture looked like was it purple was it purple was it pink? Was it orange? Wait one sec.
Hmm. I may be remembering this wrong. Was it purple? Was it pink? Was it orange? Wait one sec. Dimitri's pumpkins thrived after the squirrels moved back to Avalon. Why, hello, old friend. The first one was my favorite. She never stopped filling those work orders. B. 
beefed up security on that back gate to make sure no Wetzel wolves could break in. The lock was crafted from very rare chromium I mined from the caverns in Ceridia. It was resistant to magic and required multiple keys. Of course, I could remember where I had hidden them. Wake up, Graham. Your mind is strong. Goblins thrived in the rocks to the east, so I stayed away.
I was happy my lighting project had been implemented. But I did miss using my pumpkin lantern. After Alexander returned, we sealed up the goblin holes. Something seems off. The key was a bit too high for me to reach. Wake up, Graham. Your mind is strong. Apologies, it was a... The key was a bit too high for me to reach. Goblins thrived in the rocks to the east, so I stayed away.
the Hobblepots and I used a spell from Agatha's book to enchant the floating island to actually float. Dimitri's pumpkins thrived after the squirrels moved back to Avalon. Apologies, it was a...
The Hobblepots and I used a spell from Agatha's book to enchant the floating island to actually float.
Hmm. I may be remembering this wrong. The key was a bit too high for me to reach.
Gavitry's pumpkins thrived after the squirrels moved back to Avalon.
Hmm. I may be remembering this wrong. Was it pink? Was it purple? Was it orange? Wait one sec. Beefed up security on that back gate to make sure no Wetzel Wolves could break in. The lock was crafted from very rare chromium I mined from the caverns in the Ceridia. It was resistant to magic and required multiple keys. Of course, I couldn't remember where I had hidden them. keys were, and the lock was open, which proved my mind was still quick. I pocketed the chromium. It was too rare to leave sitting on the ground. Feel that for the next ten years. I don't remember adventures being so hard on the knees. Forget leg day. 
I need to strengthen these ankles day. Sure, that's a good thing. I can't go out like that. feel that one, and I'm not sure that's a good thing. Keep your eyes peeled, Gordon. He should be here any second. You know how I feel about that name. Fine, Mordak. Open your eyes. Look alive. Don't screw this up. Screw this up? Might I remind you, it's my magic keeping you alive. Yes, and when your magic concocts a working batch of Cosmolotion, I'll praise you. But my patience has grown thin, and I will not tolerate any more mistakes. Brother, I warned you to stay away from those potions. You wouldn't hear it. I've wasted 30 years of my life trying to duplicate Hagatha's formula. And I'm afraid at this point, I'm ready to move forward or move on. Is your mind slipping in your golden years? Have you forgotten everything I've sacrificed for you? I took you in from the cold. I saved you from a life of goblin slavery. And you have the gall to complain about 30 measly years? Well, sometimes it still feels like I'm a slave to a goblin. Hold your tongue, Morden, or I will. Mordak, didn't I extinguish your flame years ago? I was hiding under the floorboards. I knew it. How's the family? Getting along surprisingly well since you shrunk them. So glad to hear that. Uh-huh. You mind moving out of the way? I have some business to attend to with your boss. Mananin has strictly forbidden me to let you pass. Unless you can convince me that your mind is still strong and quick. And how might I go about that? Follow those clearly labeled signposts. Of course. Bring me back proof that you have completed each trial, and then I will escort you to Mananin. I know you won't answer honestly, but I'll ask anyway. Is all this some form of an elaborate trap designed to crush my bones, yank my arms out, or contort my body into a twisted sculpture of death? No. <sighs> Sounds like some good clean fun. You have your proof yet?
can't figure out if something just broke or snapped back into place. about these stories you know, in a long time. Your ears are all red. Just give me a moment. This part gets a little wacky. I think I should rest a bit first. You mind getting Grandma in here? I'll be back after your nap. dinner. I'll be fine. Take your time. Just ring the bell if you need me. Good night, my love. Always seek adventure. time yet. I was promised another. I'll fight it, I assure you. But... I'm afraid you're right. You've always been a straight shooter. It's true. The mirror never promised I would live another adventure. Only that my adventure would live on. Just let me say goodbye. Smell that germite, Graham. It's a toxic fume, I'm afraid. One that is said to challenge the strength of the mind.
Graham? Is that you? Amaya? Wait. If you're here, does that mean that I am? Well, what's your gut telling you? That it would rather be filled with jelly beans instead of dread. Calm down. It's not your time yet. I'm just here to help you navigate your own feel... feelings. Is there any advice buried in there? Perhaps on outsmarting Manny? Or how I can make sure the legacy of King Graham the Brave will not be forgotten? Is that what you're worried about? No wonder your stomach is tied in knots. Let me have it. Legacies are not about what you leave behind for people, Graham. They're about what you leave inside of people. Your kingdom might be best left for the young. That's it? You don't have any sarcastic barbs or any items to give me that will eventually solve all my troubles? Hey, I've given you everything I have to give. You're gonna have to complete this quest on your own. Wake up, Graham. Your mind is strong. <gasps> Set that over there, and let me know when you've completed the Trial of Strength. Excellent. 
Excellent. Right this way, please. Well, where is he? Meow. Charmed, I'm sure. <laughs> Are you kidding me? You wish to challenge me like this? Careful what you say, King. My species has no bearing on my abilities. I have no problems with cats, Manny, or goblins, or sphinxes. My issues are all with you. No matter. The duel hasn't even begun, yet I've already won. Are you aware that you've hand-delivered everything I need to complete another batch of Cosmolotion? Shocker. Allow me to explain that you, King Graham the Imbecile, have once again... Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Wax poetic for two more hours, won't you? Pardon my vacant expression, though. I can barely hear out of my left ear anymore. Fine. Have it your way. I'll speak with brevity. Long sentences. Drawn out syllables to emphasize a point. Raising my voice. More sesquipedalian words. Overuse of the term moron. And I'll need a hair from your beard for my final ingredient. See where it's down? Meet me at the floating island. Good chat. Dad, we brought you some treats. Dad? Oh, well. Oh. Grandpa! Oh. No. Oh. Dad, say something. Sorry. Gwendolyn, go get the nursemaids. No. What do you want me to do? What, what can I get you? You want mom? Mom! Story. Sorry? No, story. Uh, the story. Help me finish it. Let's get him back in bed. Grab his feet. Graham! I couldn't reach the bell. I should have known you would try to escape. I thought I needed one more adventure. One last trophy to hang on these shelves. But the only treasures I need are standing right beside me. It's okay, love. You can stop fighting. It's time. Not before my story is done. You have to finish it. Me? I don't know how it ends. I'll help you. I, I can't. I'm not ready. Gart should tell it. Grandfather's passing his hat to you. 
I think you should take it. Go ahead, Cuddlebug. King Grandpa, the greatest adventurer to ever live, would do anything in his power to protect his family. As the sun set atop the floating island, Mordak placed the final goblet down for a toxic duel of wits. That's a great start. Welcome, friend. I'm glad you could make it. Mananan restored himself back into human form using the ingredients Grandpa had unknowingly brought to him. But he was weak. The germite crystal was the only thing keeping him alive. Mordak has carefully designed a series of trials to test our wits. Don't worry, he hasn't given me any answers. Some of the goblets have been topped with hypnotic powder. We will complete each station individually. If you drink from any of the tainted cups, you will lose and be under my spell, and vice versa. The goblets have been set up in stations, each with their own rules. I'll spare you the long speech and just let you read the rules. Ready to prove a goblin is smarter than a man? I wish you would hurry this along. I am putting in my resignation from the Brotherhood after you two are done playing this ridiculous game. I have my own dreams to pursue. My novella is not going to write itself. I don't see the point of all this. I am afraid I can't help. I wish you would hurry this along. I am putting in my resignation from the Brotherhood after you two are done playing this ridiculous game. There was one clue for each set of goblets. Someone must have thought themselves pretty clever. You're doing great, sweetheart. Only one goblet was safe to drink from.
finish this one too. Simple, really. Neither of us are hypnotized, so let's continue on.
<laughs> Not really much of a challenge for minds like ours. Mordak, you could have made these a little more challenging.
One more to go. Think you can handle it?
The duel was at a standstill. Neither competitor could prove they were smarter than the other. Huh. I was afraid of this, friend. Although you started out as a lanky bumble ward, over the years my trials have conditioned your wits to equal mine. No matter. I have a backup plan. <gasps> this flame enchantment will ensure neither of us can leave until the other has perished. How about instead of wits, we engage in a lethal game of chance? Grandpa had no choice but to play the game. He was trapped and his kingdom was on the line. I won this set of goblets from a game of wits with Lord Sawin. One of them holds an irreversible eradicating elixir. A powerful magic that will slowly destroy whatever it touches from the inside out. There are no special markings or any way to puzzle out which is the poisoned vessel. <laughs> if there was, I would have slipped it into the batter of your breakfast years ago. But what fun would that have been? We'll each take turns choosing a goblet to drink from until they're all gone and the better man wins. You'll drink first. Grandpa was at a loss. For the first time in his life, the four E's of puzzle solving could not inform his decision. There was no logic to puzzle out. No clues or hints. Just a simple choice of life or death. Take your time. There's no strategy here. Just blind luck. Something you've always excelled at. Oh, don't mind that. Just a simple trinket. Leave that alone. It's just a decorative prop. Oh, don't mind that. Just a simple trinket. Leave that alone. It's just a decorative prop. Take your time. There's no strategy here. Just blind luck. Something you've always excelled at. Take your time. There's no strategy here. Just blind luck. Something you've always excelled at. Well, I guess you won. Best of me. Good show, old friend. Guess I'll ingest this and call it a night. But you know I don't play fair. And you've just revealed where the elixir is hiding. <laughs> you played right into my trap, just like that foolish archer. Yep. Grandpa's life was spared and our whole family moved to Avalon. The end. No, Gwendolyn. What? It couldn't have ended like that. You know, if I chose that cup, it would have destroyed the very castle you are standing in. There was only one solution. He was out of options. Grandpa looked around at the kingdom he created and realized there was only one choice. Grandpa knew the eradicating elixir would slowly destroy him from the inside, but Daventry would live on. That day, Manny was outsmarted 
in a way he never imagined possible. In a way he could not comprehend. Huh. Nice move. I'll accept that. But let's see if I can help speed up the effects of that potion. You pushed a thinking man to brute force. I hope you're happy. You've already won. There's no need to torture him. It was at that moment, while his body was being jerked through the air, that Mordak was reminded of his first encounter with Grandpa. Those memories stirred up something fierce inside Mordak. Manny didn't save him from a life of goblin abuse. Grandpa did. And it was time he repaid the favor. Leave him be. I won't ask you again. I guess it's time I held your tongue. Manny's enchantments over the castle were broken, and he was never heard from again. Daventry continues to thrive and prosper thanks to the sacrifices made by King Grant, the greatest grandpa to have ever lived. Is he still... Oh, yes. He heard every word. Thank you, Gwendolyn. That suits you well. It was beautiful. You kids have always brought so much joy to your grandfather. All of his children have. All right, kiddos, it's bedtime. Say goodnight to Grandpa and I'll tuck you in. Good night, Grandpa. Uh, I love you. Uh, I love you too, God. And I am proud of you. Thank you. That means a lot. I just want to say you're the best Grandpa and my favorite person in the world. I love you. And I'm so sorry you didn't get your last adventure. Sweetheart, there is nothing to be sorry about. I now know that all of my adventures will live on forever inside of you. As long as you keep telling my stories, they will never die. Thanks for sharing them with me, Grandpa. I love you. I love you too, dear. Go. Go get some rest. Wake me in the morning and we can make some 
pancakes. Sweetheart Gwendolyn, when you read this letter, you'll already know about the crown I have left for you and why. Please don't worry about me. I lived a long, fulfilling life, and I wouldn't change one decision. I've led this kingdom with all the bravery I could muster, and I've seen that same courage in your eyes. But I would never force upon you rules and addenda to protect my legacy. You must make your own decisions. I only share my stories in the hope that they would help you down whichever path you choose for Daventry. Go forth and be Queen Gwendolyn the Brave, or the Patient, or the Dragon Slayer. Just know that I will always be watching over you and kissing your forehead from the stars above. <laughs>